want to so before i exactly go into this data interpretation set i would like you i I'd like to revise certain things with you first okay for example the first thing that you need in di is reciprocals i'm sure you remember those reciprocals that i taught you yesterday okay still i'll give you the slide again okay the reciprocals look something like this 1 by 1 is 100% 1 by 2 is 50% 1 by 3 is 33 1 by 3 1 by 4 is 25 1 by 5 is 20 1 by 6 16 2 by 3 1 by 7 14 2 by 7 1 by 12 and a half 1 by 9 is 11 by 9 1 by 10 is 10% 1 by 11 is 91 by 11 1 by 12 is 8 one third okay now after you through the, this reciprocal we can talk about percentages three things that you should know in di are reciprocals percentages and averages we've spoken about averages and percentages already okay but still i'll give you a little different perspective about these things now okay a different perspective altogether let's talk percentage for that matter to start with reciprocals i think are, are fine okay just have to refer back to that page that you've written it down that that slide that we had 1 by 1 to 1 by 12 should be enough for starters okay uh, should be enough for an exam like what you're writing okay talk about percentages percentage as i mentioned yesterday it's about multiplication so if i have 20% of 80 i told you it is as good as 20 into 80 as good as 16 because two zeros will get cancelled eventually and you get 16 is this perfectly fine this is already uh, believed and forwarded right i mean you know this been surpassed fine all right let's look at this from another angle altogether 20% of 80 Now, since it is multiplication, I have taught you this kind of a multiplication, right? The one of the days I taught you, 35 and 24, just give a two here. This becomes 70 into 12, becomes 840. Remember this? Yeah. So you can do the same thing in percentage. You can swing around with percentage. You can play around with them. I can, if I want, I can give away two here. So I get 10% of 160. So 20% of 80 is as good as 10% of 160. Yes. I have just taken a two from twenty and given it to eighty, so eighty became double. This became half. Yes, same. Still the same answer. Okay. If you want, you can pick out a two again and give it to that guy. So it's going to be five percent of three twenty. Or rather, let's just do it the other way around. Let's take the zero and put it here. So it's going to be fifty percent of thirty-two. Yeah. Or for that matter, I want to keep another two here, so I can say it is hundred percent of sixteen. Yes or no? And hundred percent is the number itself, so sixteen is the answer precisely. Okay? Yeah, but we're not interested in the answer right now. We're just looking at the variations that a percentage can have. Okay? What is the advantage here? I'll explain that to you in a while. Okay? Now, hundred uh, percent of sixteen. Fair? I can also take four away from here and give it to this guy. So it's going to be. Four hundred percent of four. Are you in sync with this? Perfectly, all right. All these are valid. I can take a two away from here and give it here. So it's going to be eight hundred percent of two. I can pull a double zero out here and give it here. So it's going to be eight percent of two hundred. So I can just play around the way I want to, and I can keep getting new terminologies. Each one of these has the same answer: sixteen. All right, that's the first thing I want to talk about. Okay, I'll explain the concept to you. I'll explain the application in a in a bit. But before that, I want to talk about another concept, which is called percentage increase or percentage decrease concept. What is percentage increase or decrease? It is increase or decrease upon original into hundred. Right? Never do it this way. Okay, it's good enough in books. Looks nice, looks attractive. Okay, given a formula to you guys. Okay, do it this way all the time, all your life. You're gonna do this way. Okay, and you keep doing this way. Because in a in a topic like DI, you will not have a percentage increase like this. Find out what percentage increase is from 60 to 75. No, don't expect this question. Okay, you'll have a percentage increase like this. Earlier it was 24 into 60. Now it is 25 into 40. find the percentage increase or decrease okay never ever multiply these things and find out just do one simple thing keep in mind keep original final it's on you okay you know that this is the original you know this is the final 
you can keep them in the numerator or the denominator the choice is yours completely just compare it the way i show you okay 24 by 60 and divide this by 25 into 40 zeros will get cancelled this six are so i have 36 on 25 now what is original the above one is original right because 24 into 60 was the original yeah the below one is the final right 36 by 25 did it fall or rise how much 11 on 36 into 100 this you can further calculate this is 425 are 4 nines are 275 by 9 and then you can say it is around 30 percent approximately you understand this it is that easy you don't have to assume something as i mean you don't have to calculate the value and do it you can just do it just by dividing and cancelling it out finding the smallest possible can i mean simplest form of the fraction so that the numbers become very small i mean imagine this was actually 1440 and this was actually 1000 comparison is too huge right now we just reduce it 36 by 25 making our life very convenient and easy okay? you can do it faster okay so i'll give you one more example let's say i tell you the increase was i mean it was originally 14 into 25 and now it becomes let's say 21 into 30 okay what are you gonna do you keep the original wherever you want to you keep the final wherever you want to i told you it's not about numerator and denominator it's your choice just the comparison should be in place okay so i can just cancel this seven twos are seven threes are yeah i can cancel five fives are five six are what do i get five by 18. did it rise or fall i'm so sorry I'm so sorry i can still cancel this perfect five by eight did it rise or fall i'm so sorry again did it rise or fall rise or fall what do you think five the nine was it rose right how much did it rise by four four on five how much 80 percent that's the answer you understand this so percentage increase and decrease will become a cakewalk for you if you solve it by taking the division solve it by taking the ratio okay what ratio will you take the final to the original whatever way you want to keep in mind where is the original where is the final so even if you have something like 60 to be compared to 75 whether it's a rise or fall you will not directly compare 60 and 75 you'll rather cancel 15 across and say 4 to 5 what is 4 to 5 a rise of 1 on 4 what is the rise of 1 on 4 25 percent so it's that easy you understand that because you know multipliers because you know these kind of things and fractions okay you can easily interpret the results is this fine okay this is about increment or decrement of percentage values we'll talk about this kind of a problem as well when we do the di sheet okay but before this let's just focus on the thing that i taught you earlier which was the percentage sliding okay where is it applicable let's say i'll just take a simple example we'll do a di set let's say we do a pie chart 